Ladies and gentlemen, there are serious questions that have to be raised. So we have a panel that's going to be looking at a lot of interesting things, whether it's the paper leak, whether it's about students, what they should be doing, and also about the fact that what happens when there are such serious allegations. I want to quickly say good evening to Dr. D.S. Rana, Head of Nephrology and Chairman of uh, the Gangaram Trust, who's joining us on the broadcast. He's been kind enough to take out time for us this evening. Sumit Jain is the co-founder of Anna Academy, also live with us. And Dr. Karun Juneja, national co-convener of the IMA Junior Doctors Network, is also with us. So, gentlemen, thank you all for your time. What you say today, your opinion, is very, very important. And we'll go one by one. And I want to begin this conversation with Dr. D.S. Rana. Dr. Rana, when you look at what has happened, and not just the NEET exam, the entire, uh, you know, controversy about it, sir, but what a lot of students say, that what about our future? Why is our future at stake? They say we are not happy with the kind of resolution that has come in so far. In the light of tons of paper leaks that the country has seen, sir, how do you view the situation? What really needs to be done? I really do not know what is true, but if there are allegations that are true, mm. I think they do require investigation. But however, if the students feel that some of the students, uh, um, I think they are being deprived of of uh, admission into medical college or some are getting preference as, as mm -hmm. per the news, you know. So I think we should have fair uh, sort of uh, introspection of uh, this anti-A conducting examination. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I am not against NEET. I feel that NEET is a very good initiative mm -hmm. to ensure uniform chance for all the students to get into, um, you know, admission into MBBS, you know. But if there are some discrepancies, there are some shortage or some gaps, they should be seen and they should be corrected, you know. Hmm. Otherwise, there, there will be, if, it, if you have to think of corrupt practices, then the corrupt practices can happen anyway, in any way, whether it is state-wise or whether it is uh, institution-wise. Hmm. So basically, we go to look into the various allegations. And if there are allegations proved to, obviously, we have to take some corrective action. But I would like to stress that uh, number one student should not suffer. Hmm. and need to stay, you know. Okay. Dr. Rana, when you say that, I, I, I do understand that, you know, you come with a lot of experience, with the kind of hard work that, you know, it really takes to reach where you are today. You, you have a lot of aspiring doctors who want to be there where, you know, you are today. But the fact is that when they begin their journey on perhaps a very rocky footing like this, and a lot of students that we were speaking to here on the channel initially also said that no one is listening to us. So what should a student be doing right now? What should the NEET aspirants be doing right now? What would be your advice? I think authorities should listen to the students' hmm. allegation, and if they are true, they should be given a chance to reappear or whatever. They, they, they can, uh, corrections should be done to this, you know. Hmm. But there must be, if there is something, some spark is there, there must be something wrong also that should be looked into, you know. So you think there should be a proper investigation into everything that the students are saying, and the government perhaps should also listen to them? Yeah, NTA should reply, you know, like, like mm. National um, um, this, uh, Testing Agency, they should look, look into it and uh, their a proper reply should be given to students and uh, their solution should be given to them, you know. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Rana, That's how I yes, uh, th there is another question that uh, one of our viewers was asking. Now, he's a parent to a child who wants to be a doctor, but he said that is it fair? Is, is the examination system in the country even fair with all kind of, you know, reports of paper leaks coming in from different states, different examinations, now even the NEET exam? What would you want to say to them? As I told you that uh, if some corrupt practice is going to be um, there, then they will be happen everywhere, whether mm. it's NTA or whether some other agency. So basically, I feel NTA mm. should ensure their authenticity and their uh, say good practices. So, mm. so probably, though it is a seven-year-old system now, but there are some discrepancies, if they are true, they should mm. correct them, you know. That is what I say, that if students are saying that the injustice has been done, for, yes. then they should, be, they should be given chance again to and mm. get fair chance to get into the uh, system, you know. Absolutely, because I, I think we agree with that entire philosophy that says that the students matter. In a system like this, nothing else matters but the students matter. And that is yeah, the well, reason why. Absolutely. It's very important to listen to them. Dr. Rana, with your permission, I also want to get in a quick word with Sumit, who's a co-founder of Unacademy. He's been very patiently listening up to us and the conversation, Sumit. 
Now, I'm sure you also must have been bombarded, Sumit, with multiple queries, you know, multiple accounts of people, their way ahead. They must be saying, what is it that we should be doing? Students are still at the Jantar Mantar, you know, they are sitting on a Satyagraha, Sumit. Is this what our students deserve? No, I definitely think that they should focus only on studying uh, physics, chemistry, biology. Hmm. Uh, we are speaking on their behalf. We are fighting with the NTA. We will make sure that they get justice. But please understand, uh, these students have been preparing for NEET for one, two, three, four, five years. Hmm. Right? And when they see that 67 people getting AIR1, uh, they lose their mind because this is statistically not even possible. Hmm. And that, that's when we started raising voices. And then NTA was not open about talking about it, that uh, why they did not even acknowledge the concept of race marks. Uh, is, is my voice echoing? Sumit, we can hear you just fine. Why don't you push that point a little further? You know, you've touched two important things. One is obviously about the grace marks and one is about the cent, cent percent score of 720 by 720. You, you say this is practically not possible at all? Yes, uh, we got uh, three air one in 2021. Hmm. We got one in We got uh, two in 2020. And this time we got 67. Hmm. We looked at 67 out of those, 44 we got 720 out of Hmm. We got 17 people for great mark because uh, of a wrong question in case. We got six people out of 15, six students for great marks because of uh, time. Uh, mm -hmm. 44 people gen 70 out of 720. Hmm. Paper leak, the paper very easy. Second hmm. thing we need to look at at 650 rank, at 650. Hmm. The person is not getting a student. Uh, Last year we got rank at 650. This year we are getting 30. So, how do we ensure that uh, somebody studying hard, hmm. 60 plus, uh, is getting the, uh, is getting what they deserve? Okay. So, the paper so wait, I I'm just losing your audio me. midway. So I want to fix that. And what we'll also do is we'll thank Dr. Rana for his time. But Sumit continues to stay with us, and we'll also have Dr. Karan Juneja joining us on the other side of this quick break. And that is where we'll put our spotlight on what has happened so far. There is, ladies and gentlemen, a center in Haryana from where you have six of the toppers all coming in from the same center. How did that happen? Then in Bihar, there are reports of an FIR that was lodged and apparently some people caught. And that is from where the ex entire buzz of leak of the paper began. So on the other side of this quick break, we put our focus on those two aspects and we try to find out who's accountable, if at all. And will the students ever get justice? Do not go anywhere. Welcome back. So the nation wants to know, will there be any accountability? Will heads roll? Will there be some action? Sumit Jain, co-founder of Fun Academy, continues to stay with us. And also uh, good to have Dr. Karan Juneja, the national co-convener of the IMA Junior Doctors Network. Also, Karan, uh, I'll begin by asking you what happens from here on. And, you know, are you happy with what has happened so far in the Supreme Court and what you've heard from the government? Uh, Ma'am, I believe that uh, this uh, justice has uh, been uh, not done complete. Hmm. It is incomplete justice. The Supreme Court has only taken into perspective of the grace marks. Hmm. The issue of uh, around seven students coming from one center, and it's the uh, government's own report. The report of uh, the FIR filed at uh, Patna. Yes. Uh, which has this thing into account that paper was leaked. There, there is uh, there is a non-cooperation from NT on that issue, which has also been reported in the FIR. Ma'am, as well as if we see uh, that the students, uh, there are a lot of students who have just merely passed in their 12th examinations mm -hmm. and they are scoring so high marks in the, in, the, in a competitive but exam. Karan, Karan, and, uh, what do you allege here? Do you allege that there is a scam? Do you allege that there has been a paper leak? Do you allege that perhaps, you know, there are bigger hands involved here? Ma'am, uh, I'm not alleging, but it's huh. uh, actually government's own report. It's an FIR report which in itself says hmm. in Patna that yes, there was a paper leak. Hmm. Ma'am, if there was a paper leak, they were asking NTA to cooperate regarding it. There was not, not cooperation was not happening from NTA on that perspective. Okay, okay, you, fact, you say, you say cooperation, cooperation is not happening. Uh, Sumit, Sumit, what is then the way ahead? Because the students are adamant, they are saying we want justice, we are sitting on the streets. The government says that there is no paper leak. Then what is the way ahead? 
the first first foremost important thing is we need to do a fully independent and thorough re, uh, investigation on this matter mm -hmm. that is something which has not been done so far and uh, there should be cbi there should be supreme court getting involved mm. because it is very very important that students should be given justice mm. there if there any student who is going to become a doctor who is not deserving uh, it's it's not right if any student who deserve to be a doctor and does not become it's also not right and this is definitely the case here because as i as i was saying that if you get 650 marks in neat mm. this year you are not assured of a government seat which means there is such a 400% inflation which is never heard of 67 people getting air one never heard of. Mm. not even mm. neat any exam whatsoever so okay. there has been problem i don't want okay. to jump okay karan i have run out of time i'll give you 30 seconds just to tell me what is your advice to students and your appeal to the government now 30 seconds my thing to the students they must continue studying for the exam and mm -hmm. to the government they have the numbers and mail ids of all the students they can do a free and fair survey what the students want and okay. what is uh, justified the justice must prevail ma'am and it must be for everyone hmm because it's a noble profession and the best of the best must come out and the, and there must be principle of equality which must prevail ma'am for everyone absolutely and like the supreme court said the sanctity of the exam and the agency is something that needs to be restored i thank both sumit and dr karan juneja for joining us viewers we will continue to track that story here on times now do let us know what you also think of the entire issue should there be an independent probe we'll track that closely